Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Amanda and this is my channel all about knitting. Today we're going to be talking all about sweater patterns that are perfect for the beginner knitter. Today I've pulled 10 different patterns that I think would be perfect for the beginner garment knitter. There are some pullover patterns and some cardigan patterns, and hopefully you'll be able to find something that you love. Before we jump on in, there are a few places you can find me on the internet, and they are all always linked down below in the description. My Instagram is there, my Ravelry, my website, all of those fun places, as well as a form that you can fill out if you have any video requests or questions you would like me to answer on an episode of the podcast. Also, just an aside, normally I would sit and knit during these videos while I'm talking through all the patterns, but I may have accidentally grabbed a very hot skillet handle while making supper tonight and burnt my hand really bad. So I'm just gonna keep my hand on this bag of ice I have here. So if you hear the odd crinkle, I do apologize. I will try my best to keep the crinkles to a minimum, but my hand hurts really bad. <laughs> so yeah, there won't be any knitting tonight. It's just gonna be me and this bag of ice hanging out while we talk. But yeah, I think that is it. So without further ado, let's get into the patterns. First, we have the Gallant Sweater, a pattern by Kadri. And I want to start each of these patterns off in this video at least, telling you if they are written, charted, if they have video tutorials, all those sorts of things. So this pattern by Kadri is written and it calls for super bulky yarn. You are looking at a gauge of 7.5 stitches by 10 rows to get your four inches or 10 centimeters of knitting to measure your gauge off of. And this pattern comes in nine different sizes from extra small to 5XL. This is going to give you a finished bust circumference anywhere from 31.5 inches to 62 inches in centimeters, that is 80 centimeters to 157 centimeters. This pattern calls for positive ease anywhere from 0 to 2 inches or 0 to 5 centimeters. And construction wise, I've tried to take some really good notes this time around on construction so you have an idea. This pattern is a top down raglan with a fully stockinette body. There is no ribbing on this one, so your collar and the sleeves and everything, they're not ribbed. They're just finished off with an I cord, which I think gives a really classy, neat finish. And it is a cropped sweater with a kind of like mock turtleneck. I wouldn't say it's a turtleneck turtleneck, but it probably goes about halfway up your neck. To construct this sweater, like I said, it is a raglan and it's worked from the top down. So you're going to cast on, do your neck, do your raglan increases through the body, split for sleeves, work the body, and then pick up stitches and work the sleeves. So a pretty simple construction and also a sweater that you can try on as you go. I think for a beginner knitter, sweaters like that are the perfect way to start because then as you're knitting the whole sweater, you can try it on as you go and make sure you're liking the fit, make sure you're liking the length, all those sort of things. So top down is definitely a great way to start for a beginner as well. I didn't state this at the beginning, but I will say this now and I'll try to <laughs> make sure that I mention it throughout the video a little bit more too, but as a beginner knitter, doing a gauge swatch is the most important thing you can do if you're going to want to knit a sweater. You need to do a really good gauge swatch, you need to block your gauge swatch really well, because if you don't do this, you're not going to know how your yarn is going to react once you finish your sweater and you blocked it and washed it and worn it and your gauge swatch is going to give you all of that information and that's the only way that you're going to get the best fitting sweater possible. So make sure you do your gauge swatch before you start any of these patterns. It probably won't take me long to go through every pattern in this video today because most of them are just like a really simple stockinette body, but they all have some sort of feature to them that makes them quite unique. So I'll make sure I mention those, but I don't think I'll have tons and tons to talk about for each pattern today. The next one here I've pulled is the Constellation Sweater by Ozetta. This one I think is absolutely beautiful and it does have both written and video portions to the pattern. So the whole pattern is written out but then for certain techniques throughout the pattern you do have video tutorials linked in your written pattern. So if you are more of a visual learner this one I think would be great for you. It is a sweater knit out of bulky weight yarn and your gauge is 15 stitches by 24 rows to get your 4 inches or 10 centimeters 
years of knitting. For this pattern, you are given nine different size options, all the way from an extra small to a 5XL. And measurement wise, this pattern gives you measurements for your actual bust circumference as opposed to the finished bust circumference of the garment. So you're looking at a bust circumference of anywhere from 30 to 60 inches or 76 to 152 centimeters. This sweater calls for a lot of positive ease. The reason for that being it is a dropped shoulder pattern. So your shoulder seam is going to end quite low on your arm below your actual shoulder. And to do that, you need quite a bit of positive ease. So ease wise, it calls for anywhere from nine and a half to 11 inches or 24 to 27 and a half centimeters. As I just stated, this is a top down sweater with a drop shoulder construction. You're going to work the back of the body flat, connect the two front portions to it, work those flat, and then join all those pieces together to work the body in the round. You're gonna work all the way down to the hem of the sweater where you would start the ribbing. And then that is going to be worked flat as well because you do have a split hem on this sweater. The ribbing on this sweater is very, very thick. It's a really, really big section of ribbing on both the hem of the garment and the sleeve cuffs. And then for the collar of the sweater, you do have another really high turtleneck, but you could adjust that to your liking. There are short rows in the sweater. And before you panic, I want to promise you short rows are very easy and they are going to give you the best fitting sweater possible. I know beginner knitters are always scared of doing short rows and they want to avoid them at all costs, but that is just going to give you a sweater that rides up awkwardly in the front. It doesn't fit your body properly and you're just not going to be happy with your finished project. So I highly recommend doing the short rows called for in the pattern. Like I said, with this pattern from Ozetta, there are tutorials included. So your hands are going to be held the whole way through doing your short rows. But yeah, don't skimp out on the short rows. Make sure you do them and it's going to give you the best fitting sweater possible. The Felix Pullover by Amy Christoffers is another raglan sweater, but this one is unique in the fact that it has lace details on the raglan. So it's a little bit fancier, a little bit more elevated of a raglan, but still really simple to knit. This pattern is a written pattern and it calls for air and weight yarn. Your gauge is going to be 14 stitches by 20 rows to get four inches or 10 centimeters square. There are five different sizes in this pattern and the measurements given are for the finished bust circumference of the garment. You're looking at anywhere from 39 to 57 inches or 99 to 145 centimeters. The ease on this pattern is very flexible. You can have anywhere from about two to 10 inches or five to 25 centimeters of positive ease. Like I said earlier, this is a top-down reglan construction. You're going to do your reglan increases with yarn overs to make that lace portion. And then there are short rows in this pattern as well. Like I said, don't skip the short rows. I promise you they're really not hard at all. There are ribbed edges to finish off this whole garment. So your cuffs and your hem and your collar, they're all done in rib. And the whole rest of the body of this garment is in stockinette. So like I said earlier, this is a top down in the round raglan pattern. So you're going to work increases on the raglan with yarn overs to create those really pretty eyelets. Then split for the sleeves, put those on hold, work down the body, and then after your body is complete, you're gonna pick up and work those sleeves. There are short rows in this pattern again, but like I said, don't skip on the short rows. I promise you they're really, really worth it. This whole sweater is finished off with beautiful classic ribbed edges, and the body is full stockinette. So when I said at the beginning I had 10 patterns, I did lie a little bit. <laughs> I do have 11. The only reason being because these two patterns from Petite Knit, they're both in the same family. They both have the same name, but one is a cardigan and one is a pullover. And so I wanted to include them both, but I also kind of lumped them in as one pattern in a way sort of. So we'll start off with the Novice Cardigan by Petite Knit, and I am going to be talking about the chunky version of the Novice Cardigan today. This is a written pattern that calls for bulky weight yarn. 
Your gauge is 14 stitches by 21 rows to get your 4 inches or 10 centimeters of knitting. And there are 9 sizes available in this pattern, anywhere from extra small to 5XL. This pattern calls for an actual bust circumference when you're picking your size. So it states uh, that the extra small is going to be anywhere from 31.5 to 33.5 inches and your 5xl is going to be anywhere from 55 to 59 inches so your range of sizes is somewhere within the 31.5 to 59 inch range in centimeters that is 80 to 85 centimeters and 140 to 150 centimeters so your full range there is 80 to 150 centimeters for ease this pattern does call for positive ease of about six inches or 15 centimeters this cardigan has a classic high round necked fit to it it is worked from the top down with a round yoke construction so you're going to be making increases throughout the yoke to shape for the shoulders you're going to do all those increases Increases, put the sleeves on hold and work the body flat and then pick up work the sleeves and finally pick up and work the button band the button band is a ribbed button band and your sleeves and the hem of the cardigan are also finished in ribbing the novice sweater by petite knit is also a written pattern this one calls for air and weight I didn't check I'm not sure if there is a chunky version of this as well there might be, but don't quote me on it. Anyways, this one calls for air and weight, and its gauge is 16 stitches by 21 rows to get that 4 inches or 10 centimeters of knitting. There are also 9 sizes available for the novice sweater, anywhere from the extra small to 5XL. And for the actual bust circumference of the novice sweater, it's exactly the same as the cardigan. So I'm going to keep this simple instead of giving those little ranges <laughs> this time, because I feel like that gets maybe slightly confusing but your measurements are going to be for fitting a actual bust of anywhere from 31.5 to 59 inches or 80 to 150 centimeters. The novice sweater calls for positive ease of anywhere from 2 to 4 inches or 5 to 10 centimeters. This is another round yoke construction so you're going to make increases evenly throughout the yoke until you're ready to slip for those sleeves Work the body down in the round and then pick up and work the sleeves after your body is complete. It is just a nice cozy stockinette body with ribbing for the cuffs, the hem, and the collar. The flax worsted sweater pattern by Tin Can Knits is a fantastic pattern for a beginner. It's free, which is wonderful. You can download the pattern and look through it before you've even started. But it also has written instructions and a really in-depth tutorial included on how to knit the sweater. So there are no like videos or anything like that, but I have looked through the tutorial version of it and it's really in-depth. If you have any questions, they're going to be answered for you in that tutorial. So I have pulled the worsted weight version of this pattern to talk about for the video, but there is also a flax DK weight and a flax fingering weight pattern. So depending on what yarn you have, there is an option for literally any yarn weight. So for the worsted weight flax, your gauge is going to be 18 stitches by 22 rows to get your 4 inches or 10 centimeters of knitting. This pattern comes in sizes all the way from baby to adult. So we're going to split these sizes up as I'm talking about them into child and adult just to keep this a little bit easier. But all of these measurements are going to be your finished sweater chest circumference. For child sizes, you are looking at anywhere from 0 to 6 months months to 8 to 10 years old and that measurement wise is going to be 18 to 30 inches in circumference or 45.75 to 76 centimeters. As for adult sizes, you have anywhere from extra small to 6XL and measurement wise that is 32 to 70 inches or 81.5 to 178 centimeters. There is no real ease stated in this pattern. I would say it's very customizable and kind of you can choose based on what you want for the sweater but when I looked at what the pattern stated for like what the models were wearing and their 
eases based on the sweaters they were wearing. It was anywhere from negative two inches to positive two inches in ease, and that is about negative five to positive five centimeters in ease. This sweater is constructed in the Reglan style, and it is worked from the top down. You're going to work the sweater until you're ready to split for the sleeves, then work the body down in the round, and then pick up and work the sleeves after. Something unique about this pattern is that there is a garter panel that runs all the way from like the top right under the collar here all the way down the sleeves so it gives this really cute unique texture but it's not complicated at all it's just knits and pearls the sweater is finished off with ribbing on the hem on the sleeve cuffs and on the collar and there are two different versions of length included in this pattern as well so you can knit a full length sweater or a cropped version the pattern will give you instructions to do either next we have another cardigan this is the hillside cardigan by ashley lillis and this is another free pattern. It's both written and has a video tutorial. So this pattern is great for any type of beginner knitter if you're more of a visual learner or if you're fine with reading a written pattern as well. This pattern is written for super bulky yarn and your gauge is going to be 10 stitches by 13 rows to get your four inches or 10 centimeters of knitting. There are six sizes available for this pattern with a finished bust circumference, so a finished garment bust circumference of anywhere from 33.5 to 53.5 inches or 95 to 135 0.5 centimeters. The pattern calls for positive ease of about three to six inches or 7.5 to 15 centimeters. I really love this cardigan because I couldn't find any other beginner type cardigan that had a v-neck to it and I really love the look of a v-neck cardigan. So this one is, like I said, v-neck. It's worked from the top down and it is a reglan construction. The body is stockinette and it has ribbed finishing for your cuffs, hem, and collar or button band rather and it also has really cute bubble sleeves to it so they're going to be a really nice just straight tube but then right when you hit the cuffs you decrease rapidly and do the cuffs of the sweater and it gives you a really cozy squishy bubble sleeve so this one I think is beautiful. If you're a cardigan wearer like me, great pattern to start out for a first cardigan. The Claude sweater by Joanna Garrick is maybe a slightly more advanced beginner sweater. And the reason I say this is because of its construction. We'll get into that shortly, but this is a written pattern and it is written for air and white yarn. Your gauge is going to be about 15 stitches by 24 rows to get your four inches or 10 centimeters of knitting. And it is available in sizes extra small through 2XL. Finished bust measurements for this one are anywhere from 40 to 53 inches or about 101 to 135 centimeters. And for ease, you're looking at about 6 to 8 inches or 15 to 20 centimeters. So like I said, this one is a little bit more complicated, and the reason I say that is because there is some seaming involved. So the front and the back portions of the body are both worked flat and then seamed together, and then I couldn't seem to find anywhere in the pattern if the sleeves are also knit flat and then seamed, or if they're picked up and worked in the round. So I can't give super accurate information on that, but maybe someone has knit this already and they can leave us all a note down in the comments. Otherwise, very simple pattern to knit. It's all garter stitch, and because the sweater is worked flat, at least for the front and the back portions, that means all you're doing is knitting and doing increases and decreases. This pattern is finished off with ribbed edges, for your hem, for your cuff, for your collar, and the sleeves on this one are also that really sweet bubble sleeve style. The pattern is written to be knit up as more of a cropped body, but if that's something you wanted to adjust, it would be pretty simple to do so. You just want to make sure that the amount of length that you added was the exact same to the front and back portions when you knit them, and then you would seam everything together exactly as you would have if it was a cropped version. The next two patterns that I'm going to talk about are are quite fantastic. They have really detailed video tutorials included along with them. The first one is the Cinema Sweater by Veronica Lindberg. So like I said, this comes with the video tutorial and there also is the written version of the pattern as well. This is knit out of DK weight yarn with a gauge of 19 stitches by 30 rows. 
and it comes in nine different sizes from extra small through 5XL. The finished bust circumference on this sweater is anywhere from 45 to 76.75 inches or 114.5 to 195 centimeters. It does call for a lot of positive ease, anywhere from 12 to 16 inches or 30 to 40 centimeters in positive ease. This is another raglan sweater that is worked seamlessly from the top down. You're going to work the raglan in the round, split for those sleeves, work the body down in the round, and then pick up and knit those sleeves after. It does include short rows, so again, be brave, do those short rows. I promise it's going to give you a really great fitting sweater, and it is finished with ribbing for all of the edges, and the body is just good old stockinette. And to add a fun little fact about this pattern onto the end, the reason it was named the cinema sweater is because Veronica finds this pattern to be the perfect knitting to do in the movie theater. If you're like me, I've learned how to knit stockinette without looking, and so sometimes I'll bring knitting into the movie theater and be able to knit and keep my hands busy while I'm watching a movie, so Veronica says this pattern is perfect for doing that. The next pattern is the Step-by-Step -step Sweater by Florence Miller. This pattern is also a pattern that comes with written and video tutorials, and it calls for Erin weight yarn with a gauge of 16 stitches by 20 rows. There are seven sizes currently available in this pattern, but there is a note on the pattern page on Ravelry saying that there are two more sizes being added to the pattern this summer, so that's something you can look forward to. The finished bust circumference for the sizes currently available is anywhere from 35 and a half to 59 inches or 90 to 150 centimeters. The pattern states that approximately 6 inches or 15 centimeters of positive ease is going to give you a good fitting sweater. This is another top-down raglan pattern. It comes with two different neckline options, one with short rows and one without. So if my prodding <laughs> hasn't made you feel like you can do short rows just yet, this pattern does have a version included for you where you won't have to do them. Otherwise, this is just another really nice stockinette body raglan sweater with ribbed edges. You're going to work it top down in the round, and you're going to have a great sweater with lots of aid for you with those video tutorials. The final pattern that I have for you today is the Super Simple Summer Sweater. That is a tongue twister by Hoagie Locatelli. This is a worsted weight pattern with written instructions. Your gauge is 17.5 stitches by 28 rows to get 4 inches or 10 centimeters of knitting. And it comes in 9 different sizes, anywhere from extra small to 5XL. Your finished bust circumference for this pattern is 36.5 to 69 inches or 91 to 172.5 centimeters. It calls for anywhere from 6 to 9 inches or 15 to 22 and a half centimeters of positive ease. This is a circular yoke sweater, so it is worked in the round, top down, but it's not going to have those raglan increases. The increases are going to be worked throughout the whole yoke of the sweater. It does have short rows included in it, and you are looking at a stockinette body with a ribbed split hem on it, which I think is a really cute finish. So you're going to work the whole body of this sweater in the round until you reach the ribbing at the bottom, and at that point you will split it in half and work the front and the back of the ribbing flat to give you that split hem look. The sample of this pattern is knit with stripes, so if you want to do something that's a little bit fun and a little bit different but not super complicated, you could knit this pattern with the stripes, but you also could just do it in one color as well and just omit those stripes really easily. And with that final pattern, there you have it. 11 different patterns I think would be really great for the beginner sweater and cardigan knitter. Hopefully you have found a pattern that you love in this video and you're feeling brave and empowered to cast on your first sweater. I promise you, once you knit one sweater, you're never going to want to stop. They are so much fun and it's so much fun to create your own wardrobe and make something to wear that's totally unique to you and that no one else is going to have. If you liked what you saw today, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. If this is the first time you've been to my channel, I do upload videos 
every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I alternate between videos about a whole variety of knitting topics and videos that are about what I have been personally knitting. So next week's video is going to be another one of those videos about what I have been working on lately. I hope you will join me for that one. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it, and I will see you very soon. Bye! Thank you.